this morning, for people with Down syndrome, viewers asked us why the disorder wasn't listed under the state's priority list for the COVID-19 vaccine. So we started asking questions. We're talking about phase 1B. That's the list here. Uh, overnight, the Texas Department of State Health Services added it to the list. But it took a while for the state to clear up the confusion. KXA's Nabil Ramana started asking the state's health department why. And Nabil, you got results. Good morning. Yep, we did get results. It's still unclear why the state didn't make the change until now, but the organization and the parent we spoke to are now happy to see that update. If you do have Down syndrome and you get COVID, you're much more likely to be uh, you know, quite sick from it. Jennifer Edwards, the executive director of the Down Syndrome Association of Central Texas and her members wanted clarification about Down syndrome and receiving the vaccine. We're essentially trying to request that Texas Department of State Health Services include Down syndrome specifically. The state's website initially showed a list of phase 1B vaccine priorities. Down syndrome was not included. But the CDC recently made changes to their list, adding Down syndrome as it puts someone at an increased risk of severe illness. Texas can do the right thing pretty quickly, we think. Type in Down syndrome into that bullet point and update your website. Chris Macy's son has Down syndrome. He says that written clarification is important. So we would, of course, love for them to clear that up, make it very clear. Uh, exactly who can get it. On Monday, I reached out to the Department of State Health Services to see if someone with Down syndrome was still eligible for the vaccine, since their website didn't list the condition. A spokesperson told me a person with Down syndrome would be eligible. Wednesday morning, I followed up and reached out again, this time asking if the state would be adding Down syndrome to the list and why it wasn't on there since the CDC listed it. That evening, I was told they had updated their website. Down syndrome now included on the list. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. And a spokesperson for the Down Syndrome Association of Central Texas sent us this statement overnight saying they are grateful the state agreed to their request and amended the 1B vaccine priority list to include Down syndrome and align with the CDC guidelines. Now, the organization went on to say that this will save lives in Texas. DS Act encourages all those age 16 and over with Down syndrome to talk to their doctors in order to expedite the vaccine access they urgently need. And again, it's still unclear why the change was not made any sooner. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Nabil. Now, we brought up this concern to the state after a KXAN viewer told us about the confusion. You, of course, can send us your tips or story ideas anytime. Just email us at report it at KXAN.com. You can also find this feature on our website.